<laughs> okay, so I have, what character gave you gray hair to write? I mean, aside from the gray hair, I already... <laughs> Well, you know, children. We all have children. We know that. But gray hair to write. Um, I don't think any of the characters gave me gray hair to write. If there's um, too much happiness for too long, that gives me gray hair to write. Yes. Um, I think that originally getting Ridley, this dangerous creatures is Ridley and Link's story, and it it required going inside Ridley's head and to a certain extent Link's head, but there's less in his head than <laughs> some other heads. And that gave me gray hair because it was a, it's a big question to evolve a uh, side character to a main character, and Ridley's done so many rotten things. What is what is it like, you know, on the inside? So that was very graying. I could see that. I I think we were talking Heather and I before you came, and we were both like, you know, she might give me some gray hairs. Yeah. Ridley gives me gray hair. If she was your child. Yeah. Oh, totally. Absolutely. <laughs> but I think she's wonderful, too. At this same, you know, if we're talking about a character who has a lot of heart, she's got a ton of it. Well, also, what are we ever looking for um, but sort of depth and dimensionality? And someone in an interview today said she's not likable, or that, not that she wasn't likable, but that was it hard to write a sort of a character that was less likable that was naughty. And I said, hmm. what makes someone likable? Like for me, it's being able to identify with them, which is being, which is when they expose their flaws and their faults. So I'm more interested me, in what makes someone likable. flawed. Like where do the scars come from? I think right. the fact that Ridley gives me as a reader gray hairs, I think that's what attracts me to her. Or right? purple hair. Or purple hair, you know. <laughs> that's what I like about her because Although she really I should have gone pink for tonight. Yeah. I'll see you should have. Yes. <laughs> I think we have that. You do pink. have some pink strips yeah, it's good to, to it's fun it's fun to it's like to see behind the veil because obviously everyone has their baggage and their wounds and their secrets and some of them were of Ridley's were exposed in Beautiful Creatures but there are still a lot of things that you know never came out and so now we have a chance to like tell more of those stories and also you know it's her first person so you actually get to be in her head and and see the way she rationalizes First, some of the things third. yeah the one of the things some of the w things that she does yeah the 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 prologue isn't first but um but you get to hear her thoughts you get to think mm -hmm. you know you get to find out what she how she rationalizes some of her outrageous behavior and i think um just to throw it out i think a lot of people relate to her on that because she is very one of very much the fast thinker in the series and I'm telling you, a lot of us work like that. It's yeah. sort of like, okay, we made this decision and three consequences later, we're like, crap, crap, backtrack, 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 yeah. you know? Yeah, clean up the mess. Exactly, so that's how I relate to her. I'm just like, girl, yeah. I understand completely where Every you're coming from. Look. Yes, yeah. <laughs> There's exactly. There's one line in there, I never can say it right, but it's, um, it's like she'll, she she was her own best friend and her own worst enemy. She'll claw your eyes out and then weep over the scratches. But that's what I feel that's like. Lovely. For her. That's yeah, she's she does. like a bad she girl has... with a heart of you know a broken heart of gold. Right. Yeah. Or exactly. A, a list of tin foil or <laughs> something <laughs> big. Aluminum foil. She shit sparkles. <laughs> um, heart of glitter. Yes. I wore glitter for her. I appreciate See? that. I like, Red. I like manicure. Thank you. Um, do you allow each other to read your individual stories as you're writing? Sometimes to give we feedback? do, sometimes yeah. we don't. Mostly when we're done the draft and we want some feedback. Not as much, we didn't as much like during while we're drafting, but then like when it was done, then I was like, well, what do you think? But it's hard because if we like, like I, we influence each other subtly. So we try during like the drafting stage, well, to like let the other person have space because I can very easily, you know, say, well, you, sh you know, you always do this and you should do that here like you did before. And then, you know what I mean? It makes it less your own because we, we write so collaboratively together. So it's easier to look at it when it's done because then I can be like, these are my favorite parts. This is my favorite character. And sometimes it's more helpful to know the things that somebody loves because as a writer most of us think that everything we write is terrible so it's actually hard to pick out what is good and it's it's nice to have somebody else come in and be like i love that character and i love that scene which are usually the ones that are the most awful to write the ones i hate writing are people are just like those are so great 
And I'm like, yeah, because like my blood is on the is like soaked into each word in the page. My misery. Yes, we wrote this book differently than our past books. We rotated chapter by chapter in our past books. These two books, we are we swapped books, and it's really interesting to see how similar it is, because. Partly what you were saying, and I listened to other writing partners talk about that, where just the anticipation... Well, I was talking about our solos for that. I mean, for oh, yeah. this, we obviously give each other tons of feedback. But, sure. I, but I was some other writing partner said they write differently for their partner. Oh, right, because right? you know what they're going to like. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, um, they have perceptions yeah. already there. So it's really interesting, and partly this world is so entrenched already that... And it's both of ours, so it's fun to write knowing, like imagining how the other person is going to like yeah. read it for the first time. But sometimes yeah. we'll say to each other, this happened both on her draft, which she just finished in the second book, which we're revising now, and on mine of this, where I'd be like, just do it, just do it. <laughs> this is the part you always do, just do it. And it's so funny because we were both like, give it a try, right. just right. try. And, and then, then it would we'll, be terrible. Then we'll Switch add it a little spice. But yeah. it's yeah. like, you know, because I was like, this is not this is not enough like bad stuff is happening here. Yeah. And she was like, It's a lot of bad stuff and I was like, Not really. People She's need- like, Okay, we can add a little extra bad stuff and I'll be like and she'll be like, And by the way, people need to feel something when something terrible happens and I'm like, Okay, you can add a little of that in. Yeah, but so that's, emotion. Uh, it's been that's cool. But that's fun. Now, know? do you guys do research together? Because I know you have like a lot of architectural, you know, we do details research and on stuff. whatever, like in the beautiful creatures novels. You know, if I was doing a New Orleans scene, you know, she, we would both do research, but you know, like, but not we, necessarily like in the same room. Mostly. We went to places together though. That was fun. If by research you mean eating. Yeah, we went to South Carolina and New Orleans, and we went around into a picture. Pie. Basically, we take pictures and eat. Take pictures but, and um, eat. I like this collaboration. But whoever <laughs> is in charge of drafting, like, the first, you know, go at that chapter is responsible for, like, the first pass of yeah. research. And Details. then some of us, like, you know, I know more about baking. So, like, I'll add a little baking detail in here or there. Margie right. knows more about eating. So she'll add some more like, and you need buttermilk pie more, with your chicken. I know more about eating. Do you like how she, <laughs> she did played it? Me. Do you like how she just threw that in there? Yeah, okay, in case you were wondering, who knows about eating? The you are the man. funny. <laughs> she know more about eating. Now she eats the left stuff. I'm your man. Foodie, foodie. Um, yes. Somebody has to be like My, that, I have so. a kid who moved to New York in college so Very um, smart. it was easy to set the first book in new york because i i go to spy on her so so often so we kind of lived uh this book and then the second one is set somewhere else where we have yet to reveal and Ooh. cammy knows that area quite well so we we played to our 